Greetings, everybody. This is the video or the show that nobody wishes to make, especially not myself. This is the Three Musketeers people have been asking what's been going on with Gus lately. Um, I've tried to settle it in private. Apparently, that's not going to work. This is the Three Musketeers group where Sean, Gus, and myself would communicate behind closed doors and private. This is the day after the conversation with Artie. And I asked Gus, well actually I told him here, we are in, but if we don't stand together, we will hang separately. I asked him if he wants to do a conference call. On October 7th of 2018, I say, hey Gus, will you send me a link to the audios of every episode after 156? I got them up till that point. Gus, have I done something to make you upset? He won't tell me if I had. He says no, but I don't know. I mean, he just won't communicate. I have not talked to Gus since the night that we were on the phone with the attorney. So on that call was the last time I have personally spoken to Gus over the phone. On October 8th, Gus, can we talk tomorrow without Sean? If so, you can call me anytime. I didn't exactly know what was going on, but Gus and Sean seem to have something between each other. And we're going to kind of go into Sean and Jeff got into a big fight. Jeff does the hands-on health show with Gus on Tuesday. And of course, as everybody knows, the hands-on health show is still up. This past Friday, he said that he could talk he'd like to catch up early next week if that's okay with us and I answered thank you for coming to your brothers first for the sake of time and convenience what about we set a time to talk I propose Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time noon for you what says you yesterday at 12 12 a.m. he says that works and then comes back at 9 50 a.m. and says that it actually doesn't work for him he needs a few more days we'll see maybe later this week that's a problem for me because he has already gone around basically saying that Sean and myself don't know law and we don't know what we're talking about so just by the fact of giving him more time lends him more credibility and that's one of the reasons why I had to make this video right now so again I went back and told him that he said I did nothing so there really shouldn't be anything to talk about or at least anything to get over at least to talk with me because this is back on my personal page with Gus you agreed this morning to talk at Monday noon your time I don't care if you do not wish to talk to Sean but you said I have done nothing wrong I deserve your point of view on deleting the show on talk shoe I do not believe it was an accident now that I have a talk shoe. Since you started acting this way, others have come forward in private to me about you. You have 24 hours to answer this communication. He answers pretty immediately saying, we can talk if I wish. Okay, Monday noon your time. I'm not really going to go into a whole lot of detail, but needless to say, Gus and I will not be speaking on Monday. Jeff was one of Sean's friends from high school. We were helping out his mom who was in a bad situation. Jeff and Sean got into a fight. And this is when Sean left on 9-4 of 2018. On 9-10, 
these were kind of the texts that Jeff sent me. I wasn't willing to put up with it. I told him to leave me out of it. You know, good luck. Because ever since the beginning, I didn't really wish to speak with Jeff or work with Jeff. Um, Sean asked me to help him and his mom in a case. And I started helping them for about a month. And then I told Sean that there really just wasn't any amount of money that was worth dealing with Jeff. And so Sean kept helping Jeff and basically just called me in on the side, you know, just for advice, another opinion, whatever. So I kind of played that role on the side, but I was not really directly involved. You can see on 9-14-2018, Jeff removed me. I didn't leave this group he kicked me out of this group. I don't know why Gus is acting the way that he's acting, but what I can say is that it seems to have something to do with this. And again, I don't know because he won't talk to me about it. Even after I've reached out to him and reached out to him and reached out to him, I still don't have a very clear idea of why he's not talking to me. What I do know is that Gus saying that deleting the show was an accident is BS. Here's where the shows are. He said that he deleted the entire show because he was just trying to delete one episode. If you wish to delete an episode, you go here, you go to delete, and then you hit delete button. And it asks you, are you sure you want to delete this episode? Yes delete. The only reason I did that is because for some reason, and I do agree with him that TalkShoe does mess up a lot of things, because I keep on getting these episodes popping up that I'm not scheduling and I'm not planning, and they just pop up and like this one only lasted two minutes, so did the other one. To delete the account, you go up here to settings. And where it says delete account. And it says click below to delete your account. If you have a separate account or are on our old website. It will not be impacted by this action. So you have to go to a completely different area of TalkShoe. To delete the account. This is one of the first things I saw when I set up my first show. And to be honest, I was pretty skeptical of uh, of Gus when he told me that the talk shoe was deleted on accident the first time. Um, but I was going to have faith and trust him. Now he won't seem to talk or communicate with me. Basically, everybody on the... On the talk shoe, always wish to see us hold court. And Gus, I am calling you out. I believe that you absolutely lied about deleting the talk shoe on accident. Worse than that, not only did you lie, but you took the talk shoes down. You took the shows down from the public. It doesn't really affect Sean and myself. To not have those talk shoes. We were the ones who were teaching them. And whatever drama was going on between Jeff and Sean. That's between Jeff and Sean. That's not between me and you. Any drama that was going on between you and Sean. That was between you and Sean Gus. It was not between me and you. I tried coming to you as a brother multiple times. And since you did not answer in private, that's what court is for. Now we gotta go public. And I'm sorry that I had to do this. But you pushed it this far. Consider this a summons. If you wish to hold court, let's set up a time. We'll set up a talk shoe, and we can hash it out. 
you can bring your evidence and I'll bring mine but until then I'm making a claim you didn't delete the talk shoe on accident and if you did delete the talk shoe on accident you were still withholding the information from the public on purpose you're keeping the information from the public on purpose and the prima facie evidence or the evidence on the face of the case is the fact that you have taken down the rocking the word and the debate with the attorney Artie and all you have up is the hands-on help and you've had those up for almost a week now I saw that all of the hands-on health shows were up on midnight of Monday evening or Tuesday morning but 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time or midnight your time I saw all of these shows up if you go to the number here you have 256 downloads from your show if you go and look at all of the hands-on health and add them up you will get to 67 downloads which means that there were 189 downloads between the rock and the word and the debate with Artie and as far as you saying that Sean and I are just full of hot air and that we're not helping people a that's for the people to decide whether they're being helped or not B I have actually never ever heard of a court case that you have won or an IRS situation that you have gotten somebody out of C I have gone through a divorce myself and I still have full custody of my kid which I know that you have talked about not being able to see your children often out of who knows and understands the law and who's full of hot air I just wish to point those things out for the public and to top it all off as you've made this public that you have Carl Lentz's hard drive that you took it without his consent you got it somehow but Carl Lentz did not consent to you having it and you have had that information since 2013 and you have not divulged any of it to the public until you and Carl really got into a fight like I said this is not the video that I want to make or that I wish to make it's one of those times where it's just a video that I have to make I am just conspiracy I just wish to conspire with other good people on this planet to leave a better world for future generations than the world we all grew up in I thought that Gus was gonna be a part of that and it absolutely saddens me what he has done thank you <laughs>